Good morning, campers. And I am headed up to Liberty Springs uh, side trail back to the AT. Just got dropped off by the shuttle from the Notch Hostel, which was a great place to stay. Very nice place, has everything you would ever want. Um, and it rained a lot yesterday. That's why I stayed at the hostel. I didn't want to A, camp in the rain, and B, uh, go up Franconia Ridge in the rain. Now it's still really overcast and the clouds are kind of low. So I'm a little concerned about visibility up there. I don't want to be up there if there's not good visibility just because it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful sections of the AT. Uh, so I'm really counting on those, those clouds lifting in a, in a few hours. I'm going to take my time getting back up there. Uh, really take my time. I've only got 10.3 10 miles, I think, today to the Garfield campsite. So I'm just going to take it easy, go slow, kind of, you know, waste a little time to allow those clouds to lift. It's supposed to clear up later today, but like not till late afternoon, be, you know, partly cloudy. I don't mind overcast, as long as those clouds are high and they're not socking in the ridge where I ha have no visibility. Um, if it stays socked in, if I get up there and it's socked in and I hang out for like an hour or so waiting for it to lift and it still doesn't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably just have to push on and I'll have to come back and do Frank Franconia Ridge another day. I can't spend two days just waiting for weather to clear just to hike one little strip of the trail, unfortunately. Uh, it kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. So we'll see what happens and uh, keep my fingers crossed. Okay, so Liberty Spring Campsite, that's where I'm planning on staying, Franconia Ridge Trail. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not where I'm planning on staying. If I'm going past that, I'm going to another campsite, Garfield. Uh, Franconia Ridge Trail 2.9, so that's that's a trail I want to uh, be on when it's clear up there, or at least there's no cloud cover. It's okay if it's overcast. Again, I don't care if there's clouds covering the sky, as long as they're not so low I can't see anything. <laughs> I don't want to be socked in. So it's only three miles, 2.9, to that trail. So, But it's a, it's a big uphill. So it's going to take me solid hmm, 2.9 miles on that kind of terrain. Probably two and a half hours. So I won't be up there until 10.30, 11, somewhere around there. It'll be a good spot to take a break. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Those clouds aren't there. All right, we'll see soon. There's where I came from. There's where I'm going too. You can't tell, but that's a good 30% grade, I'd say at least. So it's like it's like walking up a staircase full of jumbled boulders. Ah, I think it's another nine, eight, nine tenths of a mile to the Liberty campsite, and then I think another mile or so past that to the uh, Franconia Ridge Trail. So, ah. Get my morning workout, that's for sure. Hey everybody, I'm up here at the Liberty Springs campsite. It's a tent site. Uh, it's about halfway up the trail from uh, Route 3 near Lincoln, New Hampshire, up to Franconia Ridge. Very steep, uh, 2.7 miles uphill. Uh, it's clouded over, as you can see. If you look through the trees there, there's just white. <laughs> I don't want to go on Franconia Ridge when it's crappy. So it's cold, it's wet, my fingers are getting numb. It's windy, it's not good conditions. It may clear up this afternoon, but for right now, I think I'm, I'm gonna sit tight. So I wanted to show you how I did my tent on the platform here. Let me turn it around. So we got a wooden platform, and, and you can see the sign. They want you to uh, split it in half. So they want you to split this platform into two. So I, I put my tent right up on the edge there, as you can see. And you could get another tent here. Uh, it would be tight. It would be hard for us to get in, in and out. I want to show you, though, how I secured this. So I used my trekking poles to put it in freestanding mode. I did that on both ends. I'll, I'll show you the other end. Then I took a piece of paracord, and I, and I brought it down between the boards through the first uh, 
eye hook there through this eye hook back up around this board put it through the loop that I have right here in the um, in the guy line ran it back down through here wrapped it around a few times and then tied it off so now you know this isn't going anywhere this isn't going to blow away As you can see I'm, I'm shaking it pretty good okay um, let me see I, I can fix that later all right so that's pretty tight same on the other end same idea did the exact same thing so I tied one end of the paracord to my trekking pole down in this case I went through the board here and then down through the eyelet back up through this eyelet up here through the loop brought it back down wrapped it around a few times and tied it off so again if you look you know this isn't my tent's not going anywhere I mean you have to have hurricane force winds uh, to, to, to blow my tent off the edge of the platform you know in a real strong wind I'll get a little bit of action like that but it's not going anywhere it's not sliding it's not sliding this way this way toward the end it's not sliding this way you know it's it's pretty good and I can tighten these up some more if I need to uh, I can tighten this down a little bit more tighten this down a little bit more so I can really get this pretty tight in there but I wanted to show you that because these are not easy uh, situations to work around I do wish I had another piece of paracord that I could take and tie this around that tree right here this stub of a tree and then my my uh, doors would be out like this um, I may have to do something with a rock or a stick I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that but anyway I just wanted to show you that um, you got to get creative sometimes figure things out uh, the door on this side let me show you that's just kind of flat against the tent as you can see uh, that's what enables another tent to fit here if need be if nobody shows up which I doubt anyone will because it's a Wednesday I'm going to take this door I'm going to put this out here and I'm gonna put rocks on this I'll put a rock on that weight that down so I have a little vestibule I'll show you kind of what that'll look like give you an idea weight that down okay so it'd be kind of like that so I'd, I'd have a little bit of a vestibule and I would get in and out that way. Obviously I'm not getting in and out this side because <laughs> there's a big drop there. Anyway, that's how you can uh, kind of be creative and uh, figure something out on these tent platforms. See you later. Bye.